Hi everybody, welcome back. This is part two to my kind of Ikea shopping shelf adventure. I'm back home now. That was my propagation station. I shared with you in my last video that I was propagating my Brazil again, but also my, is it my Mikan's vine or my Mikan's vine? I don't know. But this is what the plant room looks like right now. I've got the shelf hanging out in my entryway. I've got to get it put together um, and clear out some space in here so that I can get it into the right position. Look at my Argentia up there at the top of the bamboo shelf. We're gonna talk about it later. I kind of found exactly what I never wanna find in this room on that plant. So we'll, we'll talk about what I did, but as you can see, I haven't really done much with this shelf over here other than put a Monstera on it and some accessories. Uh, we'll see what I end up doing with it. I, I'm not sure once, once we kind of get into more intense sunlight, what it's going to look like down below on that shelf. And so my Maranta was down there and it got burned and that was, I believe in February. So this is a South facing window. So I need to think about what goes on the second level and then the bottom level of that shelf under the window. But my one of my, I've got a ficus here. It's been really happy, my fiddle leaf fig. Rather, not my ficus. Everybody's doing pretty well. Um, everybody's been pretty happy. People are starting, people, these plants are starting to put out new growth. So this Maranta is really putting out new growth and it's getting some interesting variegation. It looks different than the variegation that it had when I got it initially but it's interesting nonetheless. And then my Pothos and Joy is doing so well. To everyone who told me and encouraged me that it was gonna do much better here, getting more light, you were 100% right. My experiment, like, I mean, you're okay. You're doing okay. It's still angry with me. Everybody down here has been pretty good. The um, strawberry begonia is really starting to grow more and shoot out runners again. And I have a buddy who likes to hang out in here with me and take a nap, so that's been good. Uh, my Monstera is putting out some new growth as well, and it looks beautiful, it's so nice. If you saw any of my videos with the drama about this plant, I, you know, when you pick out a plant, it's in bad shape and it's gigantic. Uh, my Selim's putting out new growth, so I know that it needs to go out on the, well, it doesn't need, I'm gonna put it out on the patio soon. This. Saloon loves, and I think most probably would in the right temperatures, loves being outside. And so here is my Mike and Speakins Vine propagation. I've never propagated this plant before because the thought of cutting even a tiny bit of it off, oh, I just couldn't. But to be honest, I would like to actually, I'd like to have a whole other Mike and Mike and Vine somewhere in the house. So. It's sitting on top of this dresser that was the dresser from my nursery growing up. Now it's been in storage and gotten quite beat up and scuffed up. I put some knobs on it from World Market and I bought some really great paint. And uh, then I didn't end up getting around to painting it. And so that's a project for this spring. Uh, and I, I, know that, I know that the cat, do you want to help me paint it? You don't? I know that she likes being in here, but I don't think she's gonna help me go out in the go out in the garage and paint this. So maybe that's I don't know if that's a project I'm interested in filming or not. Who knows how that would turn out, but yeah, I, I really do like having some of my pets with me in here. The dogs love to come in, but I really have to watch them because they will take bites out of plants at this point. So this is the view from the chair, and one of the reasons why I really wanted to get another shelf is you see the coffee or the kind of quasi coffee table right there is full of calatheas, and there's just, when I'm in here and I'm reading or I'm working, there's just not a lot of space. Here is my fiddle leaf fig. It's putting out, you know, sometimes they pop two leaves out together, and so it is really starting to take off with the time of year. I need to probably get some worm castings on top of its soil soon. And then again, these are the calatheas that are really taking up all the space on the table that I'd like to be able to use a little bit more. 
And so I went ahead and moved out the bamboo shelf. I moved everybody over to the side and got ready to put in my new shelving system. And it ended up fitting perfectly. I was really happy with that. I did measure it, of course, but it was hard to imagine that this was actually going to fit in the space. However, it did, and it fit pretty comfortably. I put in the first two bottom glass shelves and left the top off in its packaging. Uh, and that was because some of the plants that were gonna transition over there are a little bit taller. So I left in both of my rosies and my white star here on the table, and then I moved everyone else over to the shelf along with some of the other plants that had been on the bamboo shelf. So you can see that in order for some of my calathea to be on this shelf, they really have to not have the top shelf there to make room. And so I do like that about the shelf. It's somewhat flexible and allows me to adjust it as I need to with plants. I could always remove another layer as well um, and just have two, the very most bottom shelf and then the middle glass shelf, you know, once plants start to reach that height. But it, I, it's never really gonna be a good fit for plants like this Monstera, just right, the wrong shape. And so I need to have this other area, the open area in the room, because while the cell room and maybe the, mon the larger Monstera will go on the patio, they need to come back in for winter. So I'm trying to plan ahead for that. And the cat agrees, she does like the space too. She thinks it's less cluttered and just looks a little bit neater. Thank you, I appreciate it. She always gives good feedback. And so there's the coffee table I'll be using. I'm excited. Um, I really like being able to do work from this room. And at the same time, I'm kind of, I'm really debating whether or not I should make room for more seating for at least another person. We're gonna see so far, I'm really the only one who comes in here. So my picture out of Argentia, I found spider mites on it um, when I pulled it down. It was one leaf that looked infected and then another, I took them both off. And then I did something I've never done with my calathea, any of my calathea, I hosed it off. And then I got neem oil, a diluted neem oil, and I ran it through the soil of the plant and completely drenched it. One of the things I learned about spider mites in my area, talking to some folks in agriculture around here, is that spider mites are very, very common to the region. Um, a lot of people spray preventive, you know, it's a preventive spray that they'll do twice a year. Uh, they kind of know when they really are intense. And apparently they also attack house plants, not just kind of crops that are outdoors. So that's told me a little something about the issue I've had with spider mites. Um, I know I've gotten a couple of infect infected plants in the mail, but I also think that this region is just really, it attracts them. I also made up a spray um, that I put on the leaves as well. So I used rosemary oil. This is something I've used with some of my, well, I'd say the vegetables, my vegetable garden, my very modest vegetable garden. And then I'm very careful with the amount of dish soap, just like it'll, it strips skin you know, it can also, you know, break cuticle, the cuticle down on your leaf. And so after I was done with that, we went for a walk um, with the dogs and it was nice to get out. I know that there's a lot going on in the world right now. And so um, I think for me, it was nice to get outside today, um, out into nature, out into fresh air and just go for a good long walk. I probably walked about five miles and it was just really nice kind of a really easy sort of workout but also getting the benefit of being outdoors uh, nature definitely has positive impacts on us and kind of the same way that plants do you know people report happier mental health status usually when they are around nature or 
Even some studies just show, they demonstrate that in, say, medical environments, like in the hospital, that people who can see trees out of their windows, the rooms, or even just looking at pictures of trees can improve mood, which is amazing. That's really powerful. I hope that you are able to take and make time for yourself as well. I was just instantly in a better mood after this walk. So thanks for watching the video and until next time, be well and take care.